Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the upcoming end of support of Windows 10 in October, in our series, The End of Windows 10, I posted a video letting you know that a project calling themselves End of 10 says Linux will keep Windows 10 PCs running for years. Obviously, this is the ongoing war between Windows and Linux, as you may well know. And I'll leave that video linked down below. And I'll also leave a playlist for um, the end of Windows 10 that we are featuring. Just to give you more information if you are affected regarding the end of support of Windows 10, which I think a lot of you are. Now, in regards to the end of 10, the project um, that says Linux will keep your Windows 10 PC running for years, the Document Foundation, who are the makers of LibreOffice, have now jumped on the bandwagon in support for the End of 10 project. And that's according to this post by the Document Foundation, which by the way, I'll leave linked in the description if you'd like more information, because if this is something you're thinking about, um, maybe moving over to Linux instead of carrying on with Windows, then that may be of benefit. And there's also a link to the end of 10 in that previous video. Now, the Document Foundation has said the countdown has begun, and I'm quoting, on 14 October 2025, Microsoft will end support for Windows 10. This will leave millions of users and organizations with a difficult choice. Should they upgrade to Windows 11 or completely rethink their work environment? Now, this is obviously because a lot of Windows 10 PCs don't meet the hardware requirements to be upgraded to Windows 11. Now, they say the good news, you don't have to follow Microsoft's upgrade path. There is a better option that puts control back in the hands of users, institutions, and public bodies, being Linux and LibreOffice. Now, together, they say these two programs offer a powerful, privacy-friendly, and future-proof alternative to the Windows plus Microsoft 365 ecosystem. Now, obviously, I have found um, with this Linux Windows debate that there's always kind of two camps. So I think that this is going to cause a bit of debate in certain circles. But nonetheless, just to keep you guys posted, like I said, I would regarding the end of support of Windows 10. Now, if we head back to that post, yeah, they mentioned something interesting. It says the real costs of switching to Windows 11. The move to Windows 11 isn't just about security updates. It increases dependence on Microsoft through aggressive cloud integration forcing users to adopt Microsoft accounts and services. It also leads to higher costs due to subscription and licensing models and reduces control over how your computer works and how your data is managed. Furthermore, new hardware requirements will render millions of perfectly good PCs obsolete. I do agree with that statement. So they say that this is a turning point. It's not just a milestone. It's a product life cycle. It's a crossroads. Now, Check the, the article out for more info because it will be linked. But they also say, uh, what does migration look like? And then they give a couple of key steps. Start by testing Linux and LibreOffice on a second partition of your PC for individuals or in less critical departments for companies. Secondly, it says, check the compatibility of your software configuration with Linux and LibreOffice. Most office tasks can easily be transferred or adapted with minimal effort. Third point, build documentation to learn how Linux and LibreOffice work and organize training if necessary. And number four, find a consultant who can help with the migration process and so on. So very interesting. And they kind of end off this um, section saying, this is not a radical change, but rather a gradual tailor-made transition depending on user needs. So... So just making you guys aware of this, and there is some truth to what they're saying. Um, Linux can be run on a lot of older computers that do not meet the system requirements for Windows 11. So it's going to be interesting to see how this all pans out when the 14th of October actually arrives. I'm going to carry on using Windows 10. I'm going to get the ESU extended security updates for that $30 for a year because of the, the obviously for the needs of this channel to keep you guys posted regarding movement with Windows 10, Windows 11, and so on. But what do you think? Do you agree with um, the Document Foundation, the makers of LibreOffice? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.